a bit passionate there with um, talking about the health of the diabetes, but I have to because I just believe this is my this is my this is my role in health, and I have to share the message basically. So on a side note, there's too many children out there that are obese. Well, this is for parents and for carers, and I'm a parent myself as well, and for carers. We're allowing our children to make decisions for us. That needs to stop. We, as adults, are the gatekeepers to our children's health. We need to ensure that we're telling them what they need to eat, not the other way around. They shouldn't be controlling us. We should be telling them what they should be eating, okay? So, if your child's obese at eight, then they're going to be obese at 16 years of age. If you continue in the same process, if you give them the same foods, if they're not they're being inactive and, and on computer games for hours, if they're not getting enough exercise, then that same process is going to happen. Yeah? If you keep getting the same, if you keep doing the same things, you're going to get the same results. Okay? So just something that I have to kind of touch on there really because it's it's really it's imperative that I, I, I get the word out there, basically. Okay, yeah. So there's a cardiologist by the name of, actually I can't remember his name, but anyway, <laughs> he's written loads of books and his book is called Wheat Belly. <laughs> when I saw the book, I thought that's funny, it's got lots of bagels on, and then um, I love bagels by the way. Yeah, so it's called Wheat Belly, and in his book, he's got this script description, what it says, basically it says that wheat is a perfect chronic poison, and I thought so, wheat, I thought like wholemeal bread and bread are like kind of good for us, but it worked out that basically when I'm studying to it, it's not okay. So, so when I talk about wheat, I'm talking about wheat, flour, white flour, and um, corn, which is still that's a grain as well. It can also be a vegetable, as you know. But these, um, these, these foods basically have been hybridized, which means they've been refined. So, also in the book, he mentioned about that that the parent, the parent wheat plant, that if they've done studies on it or evidence base basically says that the new plants that you have now, the wheat that we have now, is basically saying that it has 40 more gluten proteins in it, and that's why it's causing conditions in our in our stomach. So it's causing our things like IBD. It's you know it's stripped of all its essential nutrients, fiber, and basically that's why that's why it contributes to those things like you know in, 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 um, irritable bowel um, yeah, disease, shall I say, things like candida. Uh, leaky gut disease, so that's you know. Also, it can also it also is linked to things like GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease, migraines, accelerated aging, so making you look older than you should be looking, and obviously other chronic diseases as well. So, before I mention what to reintroduce, because you know I was going by the three R's: uh, remove, which even when you start to remove, you start to repair straight away. Your body starts to repair, remove, reintroduce, and then and restore, and then all that process. The remove and the reintroduction helps with the rest restoration of, of whatever disease or illness or whatever health journey you want. Okay, so before I start, basically, if you, unless you've got a pre existing health condition, or what I mentioned before about all of the diseases I mentioned before, then you can adopt the 80 20 rule. And I like that rule because it's quite flexible, I think, it is anyway. And that's what I did. I adopted that rule in my lifestyle when I was looking at my health change. So what I would do was I would try and eat healthy. Remember to try, because what you don't want to do is you don't want to bombard your body. You don't want to put your body into shock. If you've not done it before, then you want to just slowly bring certain foods in and remove certain foods. Don't be trying to remove your high fats, high salts, high, high sugars straight away because it's going to put yourself in shock. So basically, don't be easy on yourself, okay? You don't want to be too hard on what you're doing. So basically, the 8 20 rule is this, is that you eat kind of healthy, you eat healthy for the week, and then one day of those week, or one or two days, even I'll say I'll say one day of the week, you enjoy yourself, you have a, have a treat. I'm not saying you're a dog, you know, dogs, we treat dogs. <laughs> but I'm saying, you know, treat because you don't want to be going on too hard, too hard. So if you have got a, a health condition, obviously I would state, I would advise that you eat as healthy as you can for as long period as you can until those symptoms that you have are reserved, re reversed and you're feeling better. So if you're like me and you've got a sweet tooth because I love biscuits, I love biscuits and I love crisps, so <laughs> I've tried to learn on the way, because even even as a Hebrew herbalist, I'm aware of that certain things I, I struggle with as well, and it's going to be that for a long time, so I continue to try. So what I do is, uh, adding up, instead of buying those things, adding a whole range of fruits, 
um, nuts and seeds. You can add in uh, obviously dried fruit as well, but just be careful because it has something in there sometimes called sulfur dioxide, which isn't too good. So if you're going to have them, just have the just limit those basically. But fruits, nuts, and seeds, then you know it's not a problem. Okay, so these these the three things I mentioned are beneficial for brain health and also glucose production. Okay, yeah. So when I mentioned glucose at the beginning, that's poor not natural glucose. That's glucose that's come from sugar basically but natural glucose is what our for brain health and promoting brain health is really good for our bodies that's what we need okay so for instance if you're like you've had some bad news you're feeling down uh you're at work and your boss is getting your nerves <laughs> children are driving you're crazy <laughs> do you know what i'm saying or you've had a, like a, a big meal at lunchtime and you've gone for that slump what you what happens then is that we sometimes feel like oh you know what you tend to have a, a sugar craving and you think, oh, let me go for some biscuits or things like that. But what your brain is telling you is that you need to have some more glucose so your body starves the glucose. So you should be getting those things from the things I mentioned, obviously fruits, nuts, seeds, um, smoothies, whatever, um, all those kind of foods basically. So these are my Hebrew Herbalist top tips, okay? Always up for natural glucose when you're craving. You know, that's the first thing you should do. Try to resist the foods you got in your house that you got and try to opt for those fruits as many fruits you can eat these things like blueberries grapes dates melons pineapples citruses oranges grapefruit as you know dark chocolate make sure it's 80 percent plus because the, lo the lower you go with the percentage of dark chocolate it then becomes uh, more sugar and obviously wild honey and um date date honey Molasses, smoothies with coconut water, because that gives you, when you have coconut water, it replenishes you, it gives you electrolytes as well. And basically, just to eat the rainbow, just as Yah has intended, Yahweh has intended us to eat natural foods. He's designed our bodies to heal automatically and to put the right things in so we don't have these diseases. And also, because we've come away from his words, that's why we're becoming depressed and having these illnesses on us as well, as well as the food that's contributing to that. Okay, yeah, so another, some other tips I've got is basically, if you go to the shops, write yourself a list. Because if you don't, I've, I've done it many times and probably you, yourselves have done it. You go to the shop, you say, I'm going to go for these few things, and you come up with a, uh, a big bag load or two bags load, and you think, I didn't come for all these things. So if you're on a budget as well, it, it won't help. So write yourself a list and just be disciplined and only buy what's on your list. If you want to buy one treat or two treats, buy that but don't go and start buying this, that, this and that because, you know, that's, that's sort of a tip basically. And another tip that I was, um, was adopted, which I adopted, is that I do not go down those aisles. <laughs> you know what aisles I'm talking about. I don't go near those aisles. Those aisles that got the crisps, the sweets, the pastries, the cereals, you know, those nice things that you eat them and you enjoy them, you taste them and you think like, mmm, I love this. It's, it's, but that's why they're not good for you because they produce a hormone called ghrelin when you eat them and it kind of fools your body to think that that, that you're not eating and you're still hungry so if i was to say to you for instance eat five potatoes big potatoes you wouldn't be able to but if i gave you a big 100 gram packet of um, crisps you think i'm gonna have a few of them but you start eating you start eating you start eating that's why i love that, that ghrelin hormone it sounds like gremlin okay so another thing as well so that's kind of my top tips really of how to avoid and another thing that i've done that helped me discipline is I've, I've fasted so i've been fasting for many years and that's helped me to kind of be disciplined so i know that that i'm not going to eat those foods and also learn about health as well because when i do my studies when i read books when i um when i do my studies and around health and what i mentioned last time at ayurveda course it makes me realize that the foods that I'm eating, the bad foods, are causing harm to my body and I don't want to do that. It's not just harm to my body, it's making me feel slumped, it's making me feel depressed, it's making me feel down in, you know, this, this hormonal hostage. I know this video is long and I'm going on, I need to kind of bring it to a close now. So another thing, this is the kind of last point I'm going to mention, is um, there's a, a concept or misconception of myths and fruit fears. And many people don't want to eat fruits because they're diabetic or they think that fruit's going to make them put on weight. It's a myth. Natural fructose that's in fruits cannot make you put on weight. It's impossible. <laughs> There's no way. It's a misconception. It causes it tooth decay. Uh, it does the same thing. It does the same as table sugar and high fructose corn syrup. It 
can't do that. I'm here to tell you that's a lie from the pit of hell. You can't do that, okay? Fruit protects your health. It's full of antioxidants. It's full, it's, like, it's got antioxidants like, um, res, 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 I can't get the word out. Resveratrol, polyphenols, and also it's, it's good for vital health put, um, protection of the heart as well, okay? So, and it doesn't feed things like candida, fungi, cancer, viruses, bacteria. It doesn't, it doesn't feed off things either. It, what it does, it actually, the, all those antioxidants that I mentioned and the polyphenols and the nature's antibiotics, all those things help heal, help to fight those diseases that we have. So that's the first video on sugar. Gosh, it's taken a long one. I only wanted it to be like a short one, but I had to get the information out. And because it's a free part one, so the next um, topic will be on oils and then the one after that will be on salts. So this is a Hebrew herbalist. I'm signing off. And this is my mandate for you that I pray above all things that you prosper in health as your soul prospers. And that's taken from the scriptures, which is in the book of Yakahan or John 3, 2. Okay, so hope you guys tune in. Don't forget to click subscribe. Sorry, like, subscribe and hit the bell option. Okay, just to be notified when I'm doing other videos. Okay, you take care. Shalom.